Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another try on haul. Um, I'm very excited for this haul because I have two of the biggest packages I've ever received right now in my hands. They're both from Nasty Girl. This one's a big one and I can feel a shoe box in it. I'm pretty sure I ordered some shoes. And this one here, I've literally never received such big packages before and I'm so excited. This is the first Nasty Girl haul that I've ever done. So thank you so much to Nasty Girl for working with me on this video and sending me these goodies. I'm very excited to show you guys because it's like I literally cannot believe the amount of stuff I got for the price and I'm going to include all of that um, in throughout the video and everything and of course like always like all my hauls I'll include the links to each individual item in the description. I'll include the link to Nasty Girl so you can go straight there. And also the discount code that they've given me, it's just nasty or nasty 55 for 55% off store wide. It only excludes sale items. And all you have to do is make sure that you're shopping on the Australian website. So make sure it's .com.au because sometimes you get confused and you end up looking at like US dollars and stuff and it's confusing. So they have lots of different ones. For different countries, make sure you're on the Australian website and you'll be able to find all of these goodies that I'm about to show you today. I'm so excited. This is also obviously like a first impressions video because I haven't opened the packages yet and because I got so much stuff I can hardly remember. Like I remember the sort of theme I went for. I know there's like a lot of comfy loungewear type of things in here, I think, and definitely graphic tees. I'm very excited for those. But yeah, I'm going to stand here and try on each item and give you my first impression as I go. I'm very excited. So I'm going to open up and choose my first one. Oh, we love some pink. Oh my God, it's all falling out. We'll go that one first. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got a matching like, is it a lounge set or like a going out set? It could be either. Oh, yes. I got like a matching long pants and top. I'll pop that on now for you. Okay guys, I just moved the camera back a bit to show you this because it's obviously like a full length set. But it's kind of a weird one to start with. I just went on like such a roller coaster of emotions putting it on because I put on the pants first and they're like long, slightly flared pants. And they're so, so incredibly comfortable and when I pulled them on over my waist and my hips, they just fit so, so well. Like, I wasn't expecting them to be, like, really sturdy and have, like, really good elastic there. But they fit really nicely. As you can see, they're pretty see-through. And I'm wearing nude undies right now. So, they're pretty see-through. But still super comfortable. But I put the top on. And this neck bit literally has no stretch. Like, I could not get it over my head. And I couldn't pull it out. I just had to pull it over my face. So you can see I've literally taken off all my makeup. Like my nose is all red from it. Like pulling on my face. I literally almost like decided not to even put it on. Because I couldn't get it over my head. But I did. But I had to like pull it over my face. And I couldn't like pull it out. Away from my face to keep my makeup on. So that's really disappointing. Because like... <laughs> You can tell the top's just like not the best fit. It's probably a little bit too small for me, but it's still cool. It kind of gives me ABBA vibes and it's like not something I'd ever be confident enough or comfortable like wearing in public. So that one was kind of disappointing to start with and now I literally have to go and like fix like most of my face. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I've got a new outfit on and I really, really hope that first one was just just a dud, just bad luck. I don't know. Maybe I chose the wrong size. I actually can't remember what size I got. I'll put it on the screen previously. So maybe, yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm actually quite upset because I really liked how my makeup looks. So I just had to fix it up. But we're going to pretend that didn't happen and see what the rest of the haul has in store. Because so far, I'm really digging this next outfit. I put on one of the graphic tees and jeans that I ordered. So first of all, I'll show you this tee up close. I love it and I don't have anything like it. I have a plain tee that's a similar colour. I'm sorry, it just got kind of dark. Um, yeah, I have a tee in a similar colour but not with like a really cool graphic print on it. And I actually really like this. It's not super girly and dainty and like pastel that I would usually go for. But 
I love the nude sand color and then just that adds to it so much I think and makes it look really good with these black jeans so I got these black jeans and I'm super happy with them I'm just gonna show you in full length but eh. they fit like that they're just like a straight leg I'm pretty sure and they fit really nice and they feel like really thick sturdy quality denim which is amazing for like such an affordable shop only thing is it does have that um the back gap that i know a lot of girls struggle with mine's actually quite large if you can literally fit my whole head down there and i honestly just think that's my bad with the sizing because i've recently discovered from like going in store and trying on a lot of jeans i need to choose a size eight just because that fits really tight around my waist then and then the rest of the jean from where will stretch to more of like a loose 8 slash 10, which is what I am in my legs. <laughs> so yeah, I probably should have gone down to an 8 just so it fits tighter around my waist and then just like stretch it a bit in my legs. But yeah, I do really like how this sits still and I'll still definitely wear them. Honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. And I could put a belt on if I want to get rid of that gap, but I think this actually looks so cool together. And I will definitely wear this. I actually might see if um one of the pairs of shoes that I got will match this outfit because I can't remember. Oh my god, I forgot about those. We'll save those for a different outfit. And then, oh, wow, old Ellie, like two weeks ago, was so trendy. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, neither of those shoes will go with this outfit, but we'll save them for a moment. I'm going to change into the other graphic tees that I bought because I think they'll look good with these black jeans as well. Look, what can I say? I did say I really, really like this sand beige colour and apparently I've got two t-shirts in the same colour, which is great. I thought I'd show you it out first. So both of the, well, I think all of the t-shirts I got, if it was just like a normal t-shirt and it didn't specify that it was oversized, I usually get a 10 just to make it like bit more baggy and boxy obviously sometimes that makes them quite long but I always either tighten a knot which would look cute because these jeans are pretty high-waisted or just tuck it in which also looks really cool I think I like this one even more than the first one just because it's white blue and black I don't know I just kind of like the blue yeah that looks so cool and I have actually seen there's a trend now where you like eh, tuck the whole half of the shirt under your bra like that and then you leave a bit to hang over at the front sort of like that that's like a rough job oh I'd probably leave a bit more out of the sides there yeah so that looks pretty cool too then it hangs longer at the back obviously yeah I'm super happy with that and a 10 fits me really nicely I like when it the shoulder seams come down a bit because I've quite broad shoulders so often I have to get a bigger size so the sleeves are nice and boxy but yeah that is so cute i love it love 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 and this is the last graphic tee i got it's a white tee it's a little bit more of a see-through white if that makes sense like it's just quite thin but i still love it and um it has solar eclipse in like a beautiful i think this is lilac but it's obviously yeah like a shade of purple pretty much the exact same fit as all the other tees like the other two that I just showed you so yeah 10 is definitely <clears throat> my favorite size to get um, to make tees look nice and loose oversized and then like you can obviously do whatever you want with it for reference I am a hundred and I can't remember for a second 176 centimeters tall and yeah usually float between a size 8 or 10 in everything tops bottoms dresses that looks really cute love that and I actually just had a little squiz at what I'm going to try on next and I basically got all like long pants or like full body stuff so I'm going to move the camera down a bit more for you guys so that you can see like the whole bottom half of me so I'm just going to move it down and show you these jeans properly first and then I'll change because I've got some trackies that I bought I'm so excited okay so this is a slightly better view of the jeans I'm sorry you can't quite see my ankles <laughs> but you can tell that they're like a very straight up and down cut and they do honestly fit really well and that back bit it still sits into my back it's only when I like bend over that you get that little gap but they honestly the more I'm wearing them and like moving around I absolutely love them 
and I definitely needed a pair like this and I love that they're a bit of a washed color like they're not jet black but yeah that's the jeans in a better view for you now I'm going to put on some of the trackies that I ordered because I am so excited and I don't have many trackies in my wardrobe and I need more because it's getting cold even though it's a really hot day today <laughs> but I'll put those on now okay these are the first trackies and I'm already obsessed I love them so much. As you can tell, and as I said, I love the tan, sand, beige sort of color, especially when I've got a fake tan on. When I don't, I, it's not very flattering on my very, very pale skin, but I'm obsessed with these. I will say they're not um, fleecy on the inside, and I love that. Like, I know some people don't like that. I'll show you. That's the material on the inside. I'm sorry, it's really dark again. But yeah, they're just like that cotton material, which I actually love because, yeah, whenever I wear fleecy trackies, I feel like the fluff on the inside just comes off in balls and it just grows everywhere. I don't know, that's just what happens to me. And especially when you wear them to bed or like all day, you get kind of hot. So I really, really like this thickness and this material. And they also just, I love that they look like ones that you could definitely wear in public. Like they're not daggy. I got a size small, they fit really nice. They have such a beautiful looking waistband. They've got pockets. I'll show you the ankle elastic. It's like that. Perfect length, perfect bagginess. And I honestly think these look dressy enough that they'd be a really cool outfit to wear out. Like if you put, I don't like love the combination of this particular top, but if you put like a black top or something, or even just plain white, and then you had like white sneakers, or you did, yeah, a black jumper and black, Converse or something. I think that would look so cool and I'm definitely gonna wear these in public when it gets colder <laughs> Okay, the next pair are black trackies and these actually are that really thick fleece material And I'm really happy that I got one of each type of material because I feel like yeah Those beige ones are nice for like day wear because in Brisbane It doesn't get that cold at all and usually when you, you leave the house in a really warm outfit in the morning you end up like taking off half your layers anyway so those are good for daytime and I reckon these are good for like nighttime or like just if it is really cold and like you're not going anywhere too flash because they fit really tight and really nicely like they hug my whole leg as you can see they almost look like tights at the bottom and they've got like the elastic there but yeah perfect length they obviously have a bit more room at top because they have pockets Got a waistband with a drawstring. I'll show you the fleece material as well. That's what that looks like. But yeah, these feel amazing. And these are a size 10, by the way. So they fit me really nice and really tight. And as I said, I already showed you like my height and everything. So that is that for reference. But yeah, they're so comfy, but I definitely get a bit hot at the moment. I have to wait till it's a bit colder to wear these. But definitely a win. I feel like Nasty Girl does their casual clothes and loungewear and stuff really really well and it's got they've got so much on there. All right the next piece is a t-shirt dress which is so surprising for me because I swore that I would never order t-shirt dresses online because they're just always too short for me. They're made for short gals and I'm not a short gal but this actually fits and it's actually long enough which is awesome. It covers my bum completely and goes past my fingers, oh just. But this is really cool. I don't know if I think the fit's quite right. Like I might have preferred going up a size so it like hangs on my body instead of like being like quite hugging and then it would have made the arms a bit wider. But yeah, it's really cool. It's this one I got a size, honestly can't remember but I'll pop it on the screen. And yeah, I think if it was a bit baggy, I'd like it more, but it's really cool and like such an easy thing to chuck on with like, I feel like if you put it with white sneakers, it would actually look really cool and like maybe if I put my hair up or something, I did something cool with it if I had it curly, just to add something to it. But yeah, I love the design on the front. That's what sold me. I think it's really cool. But yeah, this is a cool fun piece to have. <gasps> I know what you could do. Oh my God, this would look amazing with a white long sleeve skivvy under it that's i would definitely love it i reckon if it was like that and then i will white sneakers with it yeah i'm so gonna do that guys stay tuned on the gram 
I'm so gonna do that. I think that's what would make me love it even more. So yeah, that's that one. Oh, I'm also gonna put on shoes. So, I got myself two pairs of shoes. This is one of them. And I was like, you know what? I've never done a haul with Nasty Girl before, so I'm gonna get some shoes I've never worn before. They're packaged very nicely. So, I got, wow, these look amazing. I got Croc something, let me have a look. Hey Soul Sister, Faux Leather Croc Boots. Ooh. On the box it says size six, but I'm definitely not, oh no, size 39. Yeah, okay, I hope these fit. <laughs> but yeah, I got these because someone I love following on like all the social platforms is um, Christy Swaddling, and she has boots like these. And she wears them with like so many outfits and makes them look so cool. So I was just like, well, I don't have any white boots. Nasty Girls ones look really nice. So let's try them on, see what I think. I just thought I'd put them on with this outfit because it's got a white detail in it. I probably wouldn't be able to pull off dressing up a t-shirt dress with boots. Like I'm sure someone could. And so I definitely would, and I think it would look great, but I just probably can't do it, so we'll see. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, you guys, so I've got them on. As you can tell, I'm like a few inches taller now, and they actually look so cool. And so I'll have to take the camera off the tripod and show you in the mirror or something, because I actually don't mind it. I feel like if the dress was a baggy dress, it would look cool. Oh my God, I'm so gonna... Stay tuned on my Instagram. I'm gonna do the white skivvy, this dress, and these boots. Okay guys, excuse the room that we're in, but this is what they look like. I actually love how they fit around my ankles and like how far they come up. I think they're so flattering. I've never had such pointy boots before either. I actually love them. They are so cool. They're quite snug and I feel like they're definitely ones I'd have to, like I'd want to wear in a little bit because they're very rigid, but they fit really nicely. And I actually think they look really cool with this dress. How cool is that? I love them. Okay guys, the last outfit I have to show you is another dress and another pair of shoes. And it's this one here. It's like a t-shirt, plain, basic, midi dress it actually goes just past my knees i'll step back one step it literally just finishes there it's got a slit for most of the thigh but it's definitely not too high like my hips are up here and the slit starts there which is perfect super flattering and i love this it was really easy to get on and it just like you know that feeling when you put something on and it just like fits everywhere really nicely so it's not too tight around my arms, which is awesome because that usually happens to me. It's not too tight around my neck. And I just think it's actually a little bit loose around here, but that's okay. I just think this is the perfect dress for Brisbane winter, especially like going out in Brisbane winter because I would definitely pair this with boots and a jacket. And then usually say if you're sitting in a restaurant and they've got like heating or whatever, you'd just take your jacket off and you'd be so comfortable in this because Still got covering on your shoulders and it's obviously long, but you wouldn't be too hot. And then obviously pop on a jacket for when you go outside and it's a bit colder. I just think this is perfect. I can't wait to wear this out at night time in winter. I'm thinking a black leather jacket and black boots would be awesome. But yeah, love that one. And now I'll show you the shoes. These shoes will match this dress and I think they'll actually look It'll make it look like a more really cute daytime summery dress, which it obviously could be too. Oh, I forgot they had that bit on them. Maybe they won't, I don't know. So it's these little, I actually have no idea what the name of these shoes are. They're called Moscow Mules. Oh, they're mules, awesome. Two-tone platform mule. So they are these beige and black. Mules, they actually are like dupes for the um, Chanel ones because I've seen Chanel ones that look really similar to this. But how cute are they? I never ever buy myself platform shoes because I'm such a bloody giraffe already, but I was like, mm, 
doesn't matter, you know? It doesn't matter. I actually love platform shoes here. I'm going to pop these on with the dress. I probably wouldn't wear these with the dress just because the black and the nude, like, puts too many colours in the outfit for, in my opinion. But I'll still put them on because I love the style with this dress. Okay, so here's the bottom half of the dress with the slit. Obviously, like, not super thick, sturdy material. It's quite thin, but that makes it cool enough to wear when it's not even cold, which is really, really good. And these are the shoes. I literally, just in from walking from one room to another, I love how they walk. Like, I just love how they fit. And they feel so good on the foot. I love them. They are so cool. I'm so happy I have, like, a classy, trendy shoe like this. And I feel like if you're someone that has to wear closed toe shoes to work, I don't because I am not working at the moment. But like if you were like a teacher or like in retail where you have to have closed toe shoes, I just think that would be absolutely perfect. And they were so cheap. I'll put on the screen how much they were. But I just think that is amazing. Love them. Could not love them anymore. They're so comfortable. Okay guys, that almost brings us to the end of the haul, but I almost forgot. I got all of these really cute little fluffy bed socks. <laughs> I don't know why, I just saw them and I was like, they look too bloody cute to not get. I think because I was getting the trackies and you know, home comfy sort of vibes. So I got three of them. <laughs> They're little socks. They're obviously, I don't know if they are specifically bed socks, but like I'm going to wear them to bed and around the house. So they're folded down at the moment, but you can fold them up. To that like oh these would actually be i'm not a docs sort of gal i don't own any like doc martin shoes but i feel like if you were a docs gal it was winter these would be the perfect like cushiony thick socks to wear with docs just putting it out there and the inside is fleecy which is why i think like bed sock sort of vibes they're super cute so i got pink as well and i got blue it kind of looks like i'm like having a baby shower with all these colors but yeah Bloody adorable. I love that. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just a little PS. I was just packing up from the haul and I realized I ordered earrings and they must have like fallen out of the packet, like the big parcel when I opened everything because I didn't see them until now when I saw them on the floor. So I also got these beautiful earrings, which I'm actually so, so, so glad I saw. I can't believe I would have missed them or forgot about them. But yeah, they're actually little studs, which is perfect because I really like how easy studs are to wear, but they're a little bit more dressy. These are very trendy at the moment, and obviously it's very good when you can find affordable versions of like all the trends happening, and I just think these are so beautiful, and I love the textures on them, so they are going to look amazing. That is all. <laughs> okay, guys, that is the end of my first ever Nasty Gal haul. I'm honestly, like, now that I'm finished and I've tried on everything and I can so see everything, like, at being added into my wardrobe so well and going with so many things, like, I can't even believe that I had such a dud in, the like, the very first item I chose to try on. Like, it's, it's such a shame because everything else was so amazing and I honestly think if I just went up a size, the outfit, the pink set would have been perfect. It's, the only thing was the pants were like quite see-through, like I wouldn't be able to wear those in public. But actually, you could get those pants for a festival. That would be really cool. I'm so gonna keep them for a festival, like where you wear something brighter underneath or like it doesn't matter if you can like see through them. That would be cool. But yeah, everything else I'm so, so stoked about. Everything, sizing was like spot on. Like nothing was too big, nothing was too small. I'll make sure I leave all my sizes on the screen as I go through so that you guys know and have a good gauge. But yeah, I'm honestly so excited, especially both the shoes. I'm so impressed. By the way, I'm usually a size 9 in shoes. Some sneakers I have size 10, but um, yeah, just for reference, that's why I chose whatever size I chose in those shoes. And yeah, they're both so cool and I'm so glad that I own shoes like that now. Like they're so trendy and so cool and I just can't believe it. I'm so excited. So yeah. Thank you so incredibly much, Nasty Girl, for sending me these goodies. It was so fun to do a haul like that and to get stuff that I wouldn't usually choose. Like, there was, besides that first piece, there was no pastels, no baby pinks, no, like, baby blues and stuff like that. So I definitely got stuff that was a bit different, which I'm very happy about. But, yeah, that is 
the end of this haul. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Let me know if you do any shopping on Nasty Girl. Send it to me on Instagram DMs. I'd love to see what you get. It's so fun and I'm probably going to go be shopping on there again soon. You can use the discount code NASTY55 for 55% off the Australian website of course. And yeah, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!